this is how you can really decide uh, what the VA is going to do first. And don't just put don't just put the tasks that might make the most sense for them to do first, because humans are not really rational creatures, and we don't stick to that very well. Instead, manipulate yourself psychologically a little bit and decide on the tasks that you hate the most. So what are the three tasks that you just hate doing in your business? For me, it's phone calls, handling team issues, and, and handling customer issues. I just, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a, a people pleasing type of person that wants to jump in and fix the problem for them. I just, I hate getting on the phone and I hate dealing with customer issues. I really like, that is like the, that is like the absolute last thing I possibly want to do in my business. I'm actually fairly good at fixing them, but I just hate doing it. Like I cannot impress you upon you enough how much I hate it, how much I hate phone calls. <laughs> so I haven't, I haven't done a single phone call for my cleaning business in two and a half years now. And I'm so happy. That thought makes me so happy. So for you, I want you, the feelings that I just expressed to you right now, I want you to have the same feeling. What do you hate in your business? What do you just not want to do anymore? Even if it's a small task, what do you just not want to do? And start there. Those three to five tasks that you really hate, those are the tasks that your VA are going to take off your plate right now. Because the psychological stress, the emotional burnout that you're going to, that you have from doing them will be alleviated by having the VA do them for you. Even if it's only an hour a day of work or 30 minutes a day them doing the tasks that you hate for you is such a huge relief that it's priceless. So have them do those tasks first. If you really can't decide, then just do phones, team, and customers first, and you handle the rest. But if you can, and if you know what you hate, have them handle those tasks first, and then over time you can delegate more tasks. So for the next week, work with them closely on the biggest tasks that you dislike, and, and until they have a quality that you find acceptable for them to do. It doesn't have to be as good as you. Ideally, it's better, but if it's a little bit worse than you, that's okay too, because you're buying back your time to focus on scaling the business. So if they're 95% as good as you, that's acceptable. Don't worry about the other 5%. So for the next week, work with them closely on the biggest task that you assign them. And then the week after that, the second biggest, the week after that, the next biggest, until they're slowly very comfortable with each task and they're performing it well. Don't just throw everything on them at once. If you do, um, they're just gonna be overwhelmed. So you're overwhelmed in your business right now. And if you send all the tasks to them, they're gonna get overwhelmed just like you are. So you need to introduce them slowly to tasks. And if you do that, uh, they'll perform so much better. So just take it slow and easy.